Okay, we're here for the Desert's Day at the Rio Conventions Pavilion. Um, it's not perhaps an issue that always makes the top of the newspapers. Why is it important that uh, we talk about it today and we recognise the problems that it could, it could hold for us all? It's a critically important issue because the, majority, the world's deserts now are expanding and that is mainly due to human activities. That includes poor land use and also due to uh, climate change. Why we are here is because we have very good data showing that organic systems can reverse this and critically important because something like 60% of the world's food producers are based in these dry land areas. Being able to increase the drought tolerance of these systems is very important. The reality is, is that most agriculture is rain fed. We will never get irrigation to it and we actually don't want to because that would be in itself a major environmental disaster. So being able to show how we can increase the efficiency of rain capture and the resilience of farming systems is very important. And what I'll be doing today is showing the peer reviewed science around how organic agriculture improves organic matter levels and can significantly capture far more rainfall and result in significantly higher yields of food. And that is very important for us to feed our ever-growing planet. Organic ag agriculture, organic food has been in the been in the public consciousness I guess for quite a while now. It's um, In some ways it's quite controversial. Many people say actually if you farm organically you're actually going to exacerbate the issue because you can't farm as efficiently, you can't farm, um, grow as many crops as if you used you know, intensive methods like you know pumping nitrogen into the soil. Um, is organic farming as far as you're concerned, is, is it the way to go? There are two areas where organic farming actually gets higher yields than conventional agriculture and one of those is to do with traditional farming systems that are low yielding. We we have very good science now showing that where we take them from what is called organic by default, work with their traditional systems, teach them better pest management, disease management, better weed management, better soil nutrition, soil management systems, and what we call ecological intensification, we can get significant increases in yield. And for instance, in sub-Saharan Africa, a study done by the United Nations Environment Program and also the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development shows on, on average we get 116 percent increases in yield. The other area where the scientific data shows that organic agriculture increases yields are in um, extreme climate events and what we're seeing with climate change now is that we're seeing longer droughts and these drought episodes are broken by extreme destructive rain events. And this is where organic agriculture works well because of increasing organic matter, we keep the soil more stable so it doesn't erode. The science shows that we can get um, around 100% increase in uh, rain capture and that's stored for later to give the crop rain, um, water and in many cases over several years, so the drought tolerance increases. And when we compare the yields of organic in these systems to conventional, they are significantly higher and the research shows about 30% higher. The other one I think is really important to talk about, if we want to talk about feeding the world, 70% of the world's food comes from smallholder traditional systems only 30% from the agribusiness chain. Very importantly, I mean, the UN FAO figures, food and agriculture figures, show that 80% of the food in the developing world comes from these smallholder systems. These are the systems where we can get a 100% increase in yield. By increasing the yields of the 70 to 80%, we're more than doubling the world's food systems. Increasing the yields in um, the USA, Europe, Australia, uh, in the agribusiness system, we're only going to get, they're already very high yielding, we're only going to get marginal increases and a marginal increase in the world's food. So organic 
in traditional farming systems is the most viable way to feed the world.